Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here, back with another comic book review, and I'm going to talk about Transformers Regeneration 1, the 100-page Spectacular, and this is from IDW Comics. Um, this was released here in, for the month of July, $7.99, and it's essentially, this is a reprinting of issues number 76 and number 80 of the original Marvel Comics Transformers series. And they've been putting a lot of the the old Transformers comics in the collection uh, collections from IDW and, and pumping them out there. And they've got a series called Regeneration One, the, a monthly series that's coming out or it has come out. And they start with uh, issue was it eighty point five and then eighty one, eighty two. And essentially, what they're doing is they're picking up where this comic book left off, which is actually very cool, very nostalgic, and so this is a reprint. This kind of was put out to get you up to speed of what had been going on in the Marvel books. And to be honest, I have not read these books in years. So it was really fun to sit down and go through and look at these. And there is absolutely, it's eight bucks, but there's absolutely zero ads in this. I mean, this is pretty much a little graphic novel. And it's pretty nice for... Um, $7.99. The cover itself is actually a cardboard, um, little cardboard uh, magazine cover type thing, and the pages inside are the old school, not really old school, but have a, they have a more paper feel than a magazine feel. And the artwork in it is absolutely spectacular. Guys, you remember that? You remember that old style? I was always a bigger fan of the cartoon than I was the Transformers comics, but I did like the comics a lot. And essentially what this this book, um, it's right after Unicron attacks Cybertron in the comics, and it's a different timeline. Galvatron comes back basically from the comic or the cartoon line, and he's in, in this timeline here. And the Autobots and Decepticons have a treaty, and Prime is dying. He makes Grimlock the... Um, leader of the Autobots. He actually, and, it, and it's funny because this is at the end of the toy line as well, um, where of G1, where we've got the Power Masters and the Target Masters, Headmasters, Pretenders, um, Action Masters. All those toys are out and running, and they pretty much, well, the Target Masters not so much, but the other ones all pretty much make an appearance in here. Grimlock actually turns into an Action Master, and I totally forgot that. Um, and he's he's the I think he's the only action master in it really, um, and then we've got headmasters in there, Fortress Maximus and Spike, and um, they're dealing with Galvatron, and their story actually really gets cut off um, in, in the book, and the arc with Shockwave and Starscream and Galvatron and Megatron and Ratchet crash on Earth, and um, Spike is wrestling with becoming this because the power ma the masters the power masters and headmasters target masters are fusing with the transformers they're two souls becoming one uh, unit and he's wrestling with it and finally does and then Fortress Maximus basically attacks Galvatron and puts him down and that's where their story ends I mean they just kind of leave it off there and uh, so we have no clue what happened to that group of transformers. Um, and then Bludgeon, the pretender Bludgeon, and some of the other pretenders, what's left of the Decepticons, they take off, sabotage the Autobots' ships um, during this whole peace treaty thing. Cybertron's tearing itself apart, and they take off, and uh, they find this planet called Klo, and they're, they're basically starting over pillaging and plundering, and then Grimlock and the Autobots, like Prowl and Blaster and Wheeljack and them. Uh, Grimlock's got Decepticon shut, basically, that he's been uh, storing for millions of years. And they go and stop the Decepticons uh, with uh, the help of the last Autobot. And you've got Power Master Prime's Nebulon guy um, with a, a group of other humans, super-powered humans. I forget who they are, Neo-somethings, and they basically find the last Autobot and Prime's Power Master partner, who has Prime's 
memories and everything. He merges with Prime again, and, you know, they come back in the, De the Decepticons, and they kind of bid this last final farewell thing for him, which is you know, here at the end, and they can go back to Cybertron and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, very good book if you're a Marvel Comics fan, if you're a fan of the old Transformers comic, this is definitely something to pick up if you see in the comic book shop. Although, it's kind of interesting that the cover, I mean, the cover art's really good, but Grimlock has blue eyes there. And in the comic books, or in the, in, in the comic here, there's a good picture of Grimlock. I think there's one at the very end. Yeah, here we go. I mean, he's got red eyes throughout the entire book, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but all in all, this is a great reread. It's definitely worth the $8, $7.99 if you see it sitting in the store. Highly advise picking it up. I enjoyed going back, and it brought back a bunch of memories of being a kid and reading these old comics. And I have not picked up any of the uh, Regeneration uh, series from IDW, but it definitely wants me to go back and pick those books up. So there you guys go. There's your comic book fix for the week. Thanks for watching. If uh, there's a comic book that you're not sure about, let me know about. I'll go pick it up. I'll read it and let you know what I think of it. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great week.